Good afternoon, welcome to the Monday Mole for Wednesday the 30th of June. We continue to read through Joshua in Joshua chapter 2, and I was struck by the first verse. Then Joshua, son of Nun, secretly sent two spies from Shittim. Go, look over the land, he said, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. And so Rahab uh, provided for them, hid them when the king came searching for them, let them down out of a window in the wall of the city when they needed to escape, and arranged that they would protect her and her family when Jericho finally fell to the Israelites. Uh, so she plays a significant role in the story of the conquest of the land. She's also one of the few women named in the genealogy of Christ. And for me, this is significant because of the fact that she's a prostitute. Now, there's some people that say, oh, well, the Hebrew for prostitute could also mean innkeeper. But using modern technology, I went to a Bible app and I looked at every single translation I could, and only one had innkeeper as a footnote, as a possible translation. And when I went to the Hebrew interlinear and looked up the word, it occurs, I forget, 40 times in the, New, in the Old Testament, and every single time it refers to a prostitute or a harlot or, or some uh, form of harlotry. Never an innkeeper. And I suspect that we people came up with this innkeeper notion to try and dress it up and make it a little less unseemly, because to have a prostitute playing such an important role in Scripture and the history of the Israelite people and finally ending up in the genealogy of Christ doesn't sit well. And that's because of the kind of world we live in. And sometimes I think the church falls into that position. And certainly I think most churches, um, if Rahab came to part, <laughs> be part of the congregation, she would be that woman. And yet God used her. And we're not told that she was converted. We're not told that she changed. We're not told anything more about her. She was a prostitute. And yet she fitted into God's plans. Um, and the, the men sort of relied on her and depended on her. And that was fine. And I sometimes think we're too quick to write people off because God can use people like Rahab, people that we wouldn't want to teach Sunday school, people we'd not want to sit in the same pew as them in a church on a Sunday because we're judgmental people as Christians. And yet God uses them. And so we need to make space for people and maybe be a little less judgmental. The flip side of that is we also need to recognize that our excuses of why we can't be used by God <laughs> don't hold water. If God could use Rahab in his plan, there's nothing that we do that will eliminate us from God's work and God being used by God. So a wonderful little uh, passage, of the, the chapter's uh, great, great story, um, challenging to us, but encouraging at the same time. So read it, enjoy it, be blessed by God's word.